like that. That <laughs> is impossible. A protest outside of a new building in Montreal's Hochelaga Maisonneuve to denounce the presence of Airbnb units here amid the housing crisis in the area. Last week, the building was spray painted in protest, and organizers of the demonstration on Wednesday say the borough turned a blind eye to all the warning signs throughout the construction project. This building still managed to get Airbnbs for a uh, short-term lease in a new construction. What we want is the borough to be more politically involved in this and not just say like what we did is okay on paper. We want them to uh, realize that this is contrib contributing to the housing cri crisis right now. Short-term rentals for commercial use are illegal in Hochelaga Maisonneuve and are only allowed for residents renting their primary home thanks to a bylaw that came into effect in April 2023. The owner of the 26-unit building Strawberry Properties Inc. sued the borough and the city of Montreal after the bylaw was passed. Strawberry Stays has three units listed on Airbnb at an average of $200 a night. How could you rent that? How they dare? How dare you? Solange La Liberté has been living in Hochelaga Maisonneuve for over two decades. We are lucky because we have uh, social housing. That's what we need, social housing. Not that! The mayor of the borough, Pierre Lessard Blais, says he shares in residents' frustration and wants more help from the province. When you read the different memoirs from l'Union des Municipalités du Québec and the city of Montreal, the recommendation number five was clearly saying that Revenu Québec needs to have enough inspectors to make sure that the, the city's bylaws are can be in effect, can be effective on our territory. So what we're asking to Quebec's government is to make sure that they have enough inspectors. City News reached out to Strawberry Stays on Airbnb and did not hear back in time for our deadline. The people that live here that uh, that want to stay uh, near the, the place that they know, they, they need to have a place that they can afford. And unfortunately, it's not going to come from those Airbnb or others like condos and expensive housing. This thing doesn't belong here. In Montreal, Alicia Rubertucci, City News.